since you entered, what have you learned most about the music industry? Because I always hear it's uh, cutthroat. They do you bad. They put you on these deals where they take it all the money or you get it advanced and blah, blah, blah. So what have Offset learned most about the business? Knowledge is key. And you can't blame you can't blame the system because the system going to keep going. So what you got to do is, like I did, you got to adjust to the system, get to learning, what, 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 ask questions. Like, I'm asking questions. I don't want you to, before you ask, give me the money, I'm going to ask you what you, what I got to give you. Yeah. See, because at first, when I first came in the game, well, you got two million for me? Man, run it. Publish, you got five million? Run it. Not really reading the terms, not really understanding. And then your lawyer ain't going to tell you, your lawyer going to tell you what you got to do. But I feel like if you build with your lawyer, like I talk to my lawyer day to day. Well, and I'm asking questions and he know, like, I'm going to ask this question and I need you to break it down into a way that I can understand. So I understand what I'm signing up to because I've been a dumb artist before. Just signing shit, just get because they get you with the money. You got to think you 20 years old. These folks like, look, you got a hot song. Let me give you uh, two million dollars. Mm. But then I'm going to own you. And then you got five albums. But then soon the album come out, because most people don't know when your album come out, you at an artist uh, level like me. Man, your first month, they done made two, three million. Wow. But it ain't your cut, it ain't it ain't your money, and it's not counting to your recruitment. But on the, the what they own, that then recoup the two, three million, and they still got you in three million dollar debt. And quarterly counting it down, and they still gotta spend the money to get it. So, but at, at, at the same time, they're making an investment. So you gotta understand the business terms and understand that business, these folks need to make the money. Right. So that and they they giving you a lot of money, but you also gotta learn, like, okay, cool. What are my deliverables for this money? What's the time limit on, on this on the deliverables? And then me, I love my label because I work my label. Capital Records, I work with them. I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to sit down in politic. If I got a complaint, I'm not going to try to be like an asshole about it. I'm going to try to get a way to to figure out the game. How can I politic better? How can I rub shoulders so this person can know? Because a lot of times we blame the label, but we ain't really gave them no type of information. Right. We just turn our album in, like, make this go. And it don't work like that. It's right. a whole process to everything. So did you learn, did you have to learn the hard way, yeah, these sure. lessons? Yes, had to learn the hard way, mm. for sure, man. Like, being trapped in deals or be, being signed, signed into one deal, like, not owning, not owning, I own my rights now, but like, not owning your rights to your music. Right. All that is like, you control. You so, can, help, help me out with this. Okay, there's ownership, there's masters, and there's publishing. Are, are those the same thing? Wait, you said there's ownership. ownership. I said, let me ask you a question. So is publishing and masters, is that the same thing? No. Or are they two different things? That's two different things. Okay. So you own the publishing? I don't own my masters. You don't? Uh-uh. I own a percentage of my masters, but right. I don't own a hundred. I don't own a hundred. Are you going to try to get them? Yeah, I'm trying to get them, but you got to just, you got to, like I just said, you got to finish your deliverables. Okay. So say for instance, uh, uh, you get signed. They sign you $3 million, five albums. But your album term might say you can't drop an album for nine to 12 months. So if we do the math. That's some years. That's years. Four years. Four or five years. Yeah, maybe even six sure. years. Because the average artist ain't just finna drop no album exactly on the nine months. So right. it's still going to be a stretch. You're creating. And then while that time, while it's going on, they still got to spend the money into you. So it's doubling down. So it's like most artists, you don't see no check from the label, but the one that you sign. That's it? That's it. Now, publishing gonna go, the publishing, that's what publishing command. They gonna go see where all your music been licensed, get all the licenses. You can recoup through streams and all that, but it be pennies to a dollar. So it might, so instead, like for me, my publishing, I have an admin deal where we are in uh, agreement that you will go get my stuff. I'll give you a piece of it, but I'm not gonna put it all in your hand and you can go grab everything and I get the crumbs because then I'm gonna be left in the deal forever. So the purpose of that is to recoup and, re and renew every time, every two, th every two, three years, you renewing mm -hmm. without having to drop a project. Cause you right. know, with catalog, I got a long catalog with right. Migos and my solo stuff. It, it recoups. Like I'm finna go re up now. Right. I'm finna re up soon after this album. <laughs> <laughs> so the streaming, I, cause I've heard some people say streaming ain't no money. Then um, I did talk to 21 Savage. Savage says, yeah, hey, they cut me a check every month, so there got to be some money in it. Where, what's your take on what's your take on uh, on streaming? I get cut a check, too. Streaming is 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 not for everybody. Like, 
I ain't gonna lie, Savage got it. He 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 did it right. Like you get hot first, you get a risk. You go. He went platinum before he was signing anything, so he got his masters everything. But that don't be for. That's like he like a ten percent. He like a ten percent of his situation. Okay. But I'm saying, but it's most artists streaming ain't nothing but like a, 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 a to me. I'm gonna say it's a hype thing, cause you get you get sound stage money, but. The, like you might have all these billions of streams that ain't finna register to your to the to the, that you ain't finna be getting no check like that all the time because it's that check is going to the label for signing you right so if you let's just say they own the rights they own the masters they own the publishing so oh so in order for you to get that the billion stream for it to hit your pocket you need to own the publisher the catalog and all that other stuff yeah but it's see it's two it's it's, it's two things with that see I don't want to talk too political. All right, for, for instance, like some folks that just be hard headed, you got to give them, you got to get with them folks a little bit because they're still a machine. Like the label is still a machine. For sure. I, I never tell nobody to be just straight independent, even though people say it all the time, but it's like you got to have, you already, you already got to have some money put to the side before you just say, I'm going to be an independent artist straightforward. I'd rather be with a machine because it's a partnership and I sell music and my music sells. Right. Cause they're gonna push it. They're gonna help push it out there, and yeah. you don't, because basically you you're spending their money making money. Yeah, but you have but you have to position yourself right though, Offset. Because you gotta have you, leverage too, like yeah. But you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta not take the money up front. Like if I'm tell, talking to a new artist, I'm gonna tell them like, hey, listen, build your buzz up to the highest peak that it can get you, and. If you can't get past that peak, then you get with them folks because then you got marketing and branding, which right. we don't be knowing a lot about. You know what I mean? But be smart. But like, if like I said with Savage, he leveraged himself great because he put he got high. He went platinum. He had already sold a million copies before a label. He signed to a label. So now that's leverage. Like right. I just said, you get leverage. Now you can walk in there and tell what you want. Hey, look, man, I want my masters. I want this, this, this. And even if you get it, masters, I'm only giving you 10%. And then you in a great position. But most artists ain't like that. So what I recommend to most artists that's like in steals right now is figure out your deliverables, your albums, pay attention to them time spans of you dropping them albums. Try to if you get if you get so say you drop an album and it was your first buzz album, that second album do better numbers than that buzz album, then start to try to renegotiate because right. everything is for negotiation, especially if you're making the money. Now if you now, if you grabbing all the money yourself, doing your shows and doing all that, and you ain't really blowing up as a brand, they probably ain't gonna rock with you. It just need to make sense. You need to make sure you building your stuff up so you can come with them with the leverage. Like, hey, this album, I sold 50,000. My second one, I sold 100,000. So can I change this term from 12 months to maybe six months? Cause, cause now you need to be able to drop music rapidly anyways. Right. That wait in a year, two years, somebody yeah. else be done came through, two, three folks then be done came through, kicked the door in and got hot. And people forget about you nowadays. Quick, mm -hmm. you got to stay consistent. Has streaming helped or hurt hip hop? It helped. I see a lot of people say it hurt, but they not. I see a lot of older artists say that, mm -hmm. but y'all not seeing the money we send. It back in okay, for instance, back in the day, you be you you could be selling albums but not on the top A-lister status, and you ain't finna have no money like that. It's folks that ain't never been on the billboards with M's mm -hmm. because it's, people are streaming, people are streaming. Streaming don't always resonate because it's, it's, it's artists that stream big and don't never, they don't need, they don't go to radio, they don't need the radio, they stream big. They just stream, stream, stream. And then that when you have high numbers and streams, that create festivals and different shows and fan bases is into that now. The kids are into who got, dang, this song got a lot of streams, this, this person got a lot of monthly listeners. People look at that now back then, People weren't really on it unless you did some amazing, oh, he did first week million sales. And if you right. look at hip hop back then, it was probably like five, six artists, like 50, uh, M. M. It was like Wayne. It was only a oh. few of them, ho, it was only a few of them doing it. And it was a lot of rappers and they, you would see the difference in the money. With us streaming, even though you might not see a streaming check, man, if you're a streaming artist, man, they give you a lot of opportunities. They give you a lot of people, people, because people are into that now. People dive into that. The kids is into that. Streaming artists, people, it's crazy. Now I feel like now that people are more into trends, like what's trending. Know what I mean? Like, so yeah. if you, if all of a sudden all the blogs post like, oh, this song got five million streams. A couple of days later, it might have seven million streams just from that, just from people seeing it. Cause people go, people be getting on stuff late.
What's your take on TikTok? Because TikTok is threatened to remove some of it from their platform because people are using uh, the music. What's your take on TikTok? I feel like I, 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 TikTok cool. My kids love TikTok. What I just, as an artist who who makes great music, you know what I mean. I feel like it should be also TikTok need to be counted as a stream too. Right. You know what I mean? Because. And it's, but I'm gonna keep it real too. TikTok is taking a listener away because they going to, instead of like listening to a beautiful art of song, they going to the part that might, it might be 10 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. And people, and when people is doing it so much, it make people feel like they gotta just dis get discovered from TikTok. Like new artists, you don't gotta do that, bro. Good music gonna be good music regardless. Mm -hmm. But I be hearing a lot of TikTok music now. <clears throat> I ain't hating on it. I salute it. I salute it because I don't want to seem like I'm hating on the young generation. Right. I just feel like it do kind of close the door on the artist. Right. Like on the artist side. But it can blow up. It can make your catalog blow up. Like, for instance, you might have a song you dropped four years ago and it go viral tomorrow and it rechart. That's the good. That's why I say it's the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So um, when when you said um, artists going viral, do you believe that's that's sustainable? Like you have a song and all of a sudden it just goes viral. Can that artist artist have sustainability? For sure. Let me tell you why. Because every person that went viral, every every generation, y'all just older generation just ain't called it viral. Right. When somebody had a hot song that you never known, and then the song becomes hot, and they're a new artist, that's viral. Okay. So viral is viral. It, it, it depends on the art. The artist it's just if it's a great artist or not. So now sometimes people go viral and they don't be able to do nothing after that. They might not be the best artist, but I feel like everything has always been viral in music. Period. Just like Michael Jackson when he first dropped when he when he first dropped Off the Wall. Off the Wall. And then when he dropped Bad. It's viral. It's everywhere. Viral don't mean nothing but everybody see it and everybody turning into it and, and channeling in on this one thing. Oh. So I don't I don't want to ever take away from the viral. Now it's people that do gimmicks. I feel like gimmicks don't last. Okay. That's 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 what I would say. Right. Gimmicks don't last. What's the state of hip hop right now? If we looking at the whole scale, like we talking about, you talking about like the state of hip hop, mm -hmm. looking at all of hip hop history and everything. Or you saying be, be, be what how about this? The state of hip hop currently as opposed to where it was. When you were, you remember what hip hop was. Yeah. Is hip hop still that it's or has still it declined? That. I don't know what folk be talking about, it's still that. Why would it not be? Everything is culturally moved from hip hop, period. I don't care what it is. It is a commercial that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's, it's all still brought to hip hop it's, at the end of the day. So you don't believe hip hop is declining? I don't believe so. Not while I'm in it. <laughs> what the hell I look like saying is declining right now. I'm in it. Not no sir. And it's way more rich black folks off of hip hop. That made it. Ever. Right. It ain't never been no execs in the buildings like it is now. It's black execs in the buildings, like in the label buildings, wow. making decisions more than it's ever been. And I we still run the culture. And then if you still look up the quotas, people just be talking. If you still look up the quotas that they make that they label make, ask somebody that next time you in, interview somebody like that's in the music business at exec, ask them where that money come from. Pop, country, or hip hop. Right. At the end of the at the end of the quarters, it's hip hop. Because hip hop is coming so much. It's flooding the market. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before to something.